Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I'd search less than the Ethera. But do I ever know my way around the Haybed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing. But Anthusa's special. She talks, they listen. I haven't met any Hetera yet. Don't believe all you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth. But for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise. Can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Hetera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Hetera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill, the Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. Corinth, the city of pots, prostitutes, and not much else. I should look around for Antusa's whereabouts. People come here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty. is dedicated to them, the brutes. Uh, the thieves are here, and the Hetera aren't. The Hetera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers' men in Corinth. I'll keep my guard up. He craves money, Mistyos. Not only that, but power. Once he smells it on you. You're a gunner. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money, and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. So he's hunting the Hetera? Huh. For money? Exactly. Since the Hetera bring in so much drachmi, he wants everything they control. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. If you know of the Hetera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's everywhere. Though I've never seen her. But the Hetera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pirene, down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. Ah, 
so Alexios has finally found us. You know me. And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Anthusa so you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word, emissari. That's me. And now Alexios and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. You and I will talk about this later. I don't work for you. I work for Aspasia. Then the work she gave you should keep you busy. We need to move inside, Alexios. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me, and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. To what do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway, long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. As long as you tell me what you know, sooner or later. You'll have to trust me. You don't get to where I stand without credibility. My word is yours. And you can always trust Alexios. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If you say so... I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. You have a deal. A wise decision, dear Mystios. I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? From what the worshippers say, he's someone I should watch out for. They're right. I'm sure his victims wish they'd been more vigilant. My eyes are wide open. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing Hetera. Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, Damalis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble. I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find the Malis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. What's wrong with Irina? She's looking for Cleo, another Etera, who's gone missing. I've been too distracted to help in the search. Has the Malis told you what's wrong? She hasn't told me much. But I know these girls as well as I know myself. Something's not right. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse in the port of Lecheo and burn his cargo. All of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Why rob people who can't put two Zrakmi together if he has a business? It's illegitimate, but gets him rich. Even the smuggling is a front. He steals slaves, innocents, who shouldn't be harmed, but his thugs can burn. Seems to me that burning his biggest source of income is asking for trouble. I want to put the new muscle I've acquired on show. 
Plus, violence is the only language he understands. I know many people who speak that language. Then the warehouse will be Cinder's.